Hi, and welcome to Wrong Way. And today I'm gonna show you what I use to record the videos you see on the Wrong Way channel. So let me tell you more about it. Wrong Way. And first up, I wanted to let you guys know that all of this stuff that I will show here is mine and it's not a sponsored video. I won't even put affiliate links below. You can, I will just tell you the names of these products so you can look them up on your own. Now, I know this is a bit of a different video than most of the stuff that you see on a channel, but from time to time I do get questions like, what is the camera I use? How do I set it up? and whatnot. So I thought in my laziness I can just create a video about it and just answer them with a link. Yeah, I guess I can pat myself on the back. Anyhow, first I'll tell you what gear I use to record the videos, like what accessories and how I use these particular things and what machine I use to edit all these videos. And surprise, surprise, it's probably not what you think. Okay, so first up, the gear, the camera I use most on the channel for most of the stuff, it is a GoPro Hero 8 Black. It has a broken lens cover in the front and the back screen is broken and it's taped up. Uh, just wrong way, wrong way style, what would you expect? It, it fell down when I was uh, doing a video on a EUC, but it still works fine. It's, um, it's great, like I have this camera for a while now and records in 4K, it has different framing options, it's great in terms of quality, it's, uh, it's great in terms of sound quality as well, which is really important, really reliable, and yeah, I think it's just, just a really great action camera. And for most of the stuff that you see outside, it's pretty much shot entirely on uh, the GoPro Hero 8. Now, I know the Hero 9 came out, but I don't have money for it. Sorry, I, I have to keep recording on this yeah, until I can afford a new one. With the Hero, Hero 8, it's pretty important that you use some good accessories. And first up is the Media Mod that I got for it. It's a bit overpriced and I use, most, I, and I use it mostly just so I have the USB-C port in the back and a microphone jack. And what mic do I use? Well, I use this one. This is the Rode Mirrorless Go and I had it for a while now and it's by far the best audio accessory, the best mic I ever bought or purchased for creating co content on YouTube because it's simple to use, it has great battery life, it can connect it to either my GoPro or the other camera that I'm shooting from and it's just so much better to use a wireless mic than for example a shotgun mic like this because this way you will always hear like what, what I want to say and this way I'm always sort of in the action so you, you'll hear what's happening because with these mics they're directional so they will pick up either whatever direction you're facing and if you're just too far away the sound won't be nice anymore. So this is why I stopped using this microphone pretty much at all. Can't remember really the last time I used this. This is a Boya MM1. And once again, this is the Rode Wireless Go. Excellent setup. And I think Ginger on Wheels also bought one of these and he's really satisfied with it. Okay, so Media Mod, GoPro. This is the main thing, the main camera I'm shooting from. And most of the scenes that are shot inside in my apartment or unboxings or just clips that look a bit, a little bit better and, and then from the GoPro, like depth of field and so on, are shot on the Canon EOS M50. And I have it already for a while now and it still works pretty well. I can't really complain about this camera. Um, I have a couple lenses for it now, 22mm 2.0, f2.0 is on there, so it provides a bit of a depth of field, a bit of background separation, and this lens is also brighter, so better for darker conditions. But I also have a wide, wide angle lens, so most of the unboxings are shot on this one, pretty wide field of view, and I also have a telephoto lens, 70 to 200 millimeter. Uh, and this uh, I use for like subject videography, cinematography, like the things that are really, that have a big background separation. So like recently you saw that in the uh, Bigoda RS intro and a couple of things were shot in this one. But mainly once again, I use the GoPro. Now, 
Before, I was using a, I was using a Insta360 camera. In fact, I broke three of these cameras and probably you can see where this is going. So I'm not using these cameras anymore because of a couple of reasons. Number one, the quality, image quality is just pretty poor compared to a 4K footage from, uh, from a GoPro. Even though this is 5.7K, this is just a spherical image. So whatever I was showing on screen was just like full HD or, or less. And this was a bummer. And when you're recording with such a camera, you'd need to first dump the footage onto a device, then reframe it, and then you have to export it once more, and then you can edit it. And that was just a bit of a, ha a, bit of a hassle to, to do this. I tried to make my workflow as simple as possible. And these cameras, the biggest bummer about them, about the One R, I mean, I mean the One X, is that they have these lenses that poke out. And once again, I've destroyed three of these cameras. And two, I've sent to repair to China and they repaired them and sent them back. But this takes ages to do that. And yeah, it's, it's just a bummer. And one I sent to Bosman Addy <laughs> for him to, to check out. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, picture quality is not really that good. And I love how it makes like these interesting points of view and they, you know, the disappearing selfie stick, but it was just too much of a hassle to use it and was too difficult of a workflow, but sometimes I still do use it. And you might think that, well, well you can protect the lenses with the special covers they sell. And okay, I have the Venture case and I also do have the underwater case and they destroy picture quality. They literally destroy it. So it, the, the picture quality, especially like if you want to record something also at night, I mean, I know that at night quality of action cameras is bad, but with the additional cases, it's like, it's terrible. Now there was also, um, these two cameras also have GPS data. So you can see the speed and so on. There was a bit of a lag in the Insta360, but usually it performed well. I think recently it just stopped, stopped so that the speed is actually not in real time like the footage. And on the GoPro, unless you get like a really good satellite signal, uh, then it won't show you anything in the software program to where, where you would normally see that and sadly on my device i can't really export or find any logs that are just not good enough sometimes i also do use my phone as my camera uh, it's a samsung galaxy s20 and um, obviously i use it s20 plus i use it for all the instagrams all the photos all the whatever uh, that i post on social media and I like this phone. I like this phone, but yeah, I'm not really happy <laughs> after five months of use because it's just so buggy, and Messenger keep Messenger keeps just having bugs and Instagram and yeah, next phone probably is gonna be an iPhone. I'm I'm pretty sick of the software bugs that that are here, but picture quality can't really complain about that okay so these are the main devices I use for shooting these videos and posting all the stuff on social media let me also just show you all the accessories I use for these devices well look, naturally I have some you know just some regular tripods this is like a mini tripod I use Velbun EX mini <laughs> EX mini and I have another uh, tripod that is uh, the, where, where the camera is standing now on. It, it's, it's a Vanguard. Yeah. For, for most of the stuff that I record on electric unicycles, I either have a selfie stick by Insta360 that still somehow works, but it needs a lot of power to just get the last thing out because I broke it a bit. So you can see that <laughs> I, I, I treat the gear the same way I treat, you know, PVs the wrong way apparently and there's like a quarter inch or eighth inch i think it's a quarter inch mount here by gopro on the top and then i just slot a gopro thingy up here and that's that's why i mainly use i also have a longer tripod and this is this one Ugh. And this one I just use from time to time. I don't use it that much because it's just bigger, bulkier, 
and doesn't fit that well into my Bubble Bee backpack. And most of the time I also carry a chest mount, which is just a cheap chest mount. There isn't even a company name on here that I record all the POV shots with. This stuff I use a lot. Now, I also have like a clamp that I use from time to time, especially when I use the Insta360 camera. Um, there's just like mounts and other mounts. And there's also the uh, 15 to 45 lens that the original kit lens for my Canon camera and a uh, ND filter. ND filters are really cool uh, and polarizing filters, but I just don't use them in my everyday shooting scenarios because, um, well, because I use the, the GoPro and I need another mount to put ND filters on that. And usually I don't take the Canon camera out, so pretty much indoors you don't need a ND filter most of the time. And there's more mounts, just sticky mounts. There's the Ruerock uh, mount for, for, for the helmet. I need to paint it white because I don't really like how it's black. And yeah, that, that's it when it comes to these accessories. There's also a additional battery for my GoPro, um, like a cool foamy bit that I put on my um, GoPro 8. That makes the sound good and uh, it deletes the wind noise but recently I, I haven't been using it because I somehow lost the door that is here on the GoPro don't use that anymore that often <laughs> and there's also a microphone the Novox NC1 USB microphone that I connect to my editing device and yeah this is basically all the voiceovers are done with these with this microphone so that's pretty much it when it comes to the gear I use for recording. Uh, what I use for editing, and this is actually the only computer I own, is an iPad. It's the iPad Pro 12.9, 256 gig. And that, is, uh, and that is how I do all my videos. I actually don't own a computer. I don't own a Mac. This is the only computer-esque device. That I, uh, that I have. So I do all my work on LumaFusion and this is the main editing software I use for the videos, the only software I use. And because the uh, iPad is also 120 hertz and it's also pretty powerful when it comes to the um, processor, it just edits videos so well. You, you're just, I'm just scrubbing now for a 4K timeline and you know that's where I add all the pictures, that's where I add all the text and all the other stuff and it works like a charm. I've had it for, I don't know, I have to look it up, like two years, something like that. And basically all of the videos since 2018 are just done on the iPad, yeah. So since then, every video on a channel is done here. Now, I won't go too much uh, into in depth in, into this editing software. There are other channels who, who do it better. Uh, you should definitely check out Henny the Business. He, he, had, he has some useful um, videos about editing on an iPad. I also have the pen, but I don't really use it that often. I also don't have a keyboard folio, so I most of the time don't even use a keyboard on this thing. And it performs like a charm. Like I edit the videos pretty much on the sofa. I just sit down and you know do my thing or just go to bed or I just go on the dining table, whatever. And it, and it works really great. And the exporting times are also really quick. That's the thing I like about the iPad. Now, I also upload the video through here and it ta also ta it take, doesn't take that long to upload a video here on my channel. And you know, that's also where I do the th thumbnails. I'll do the, I do the thumbnails with Pixlr and Snapseed. That's basically, that's basically my computer and all of wrong way is done with the help of this device and it's and it's amazing. Now I had iMax, I tried a Windows computer for a while and I had a Hackintosh and by far the best device among all of these was the iPad Pro. And probably not gonna upgrade 
anytime soon because this just works so well. Maybe I'm gonna get the Mac Mini with the new Apple M1 silicone, which is definitely super, super nice. So I also have the USB-C hub here for my iPad to dump all the footage to uh, the iPad. And I actually need to buy a drive for um, storing just, just storing all the videos on a hard drive. And the iPad is good for editing videos, it's good for uploading videos, but it's really bad at ha handling big files and sending them or just getting them from, from one place to, to another is just a pain. So yeah, this is the stuff I use when it comes to upgrading, probably Hero 9, probably iPhone sometime soon or not because they're pretty expensive. And ju I just keep using stuff if it works. If, if there's just a broken screen, um, yeah, I, I just tape it. And I mean, I should, I should probably replace it, but if it still works, it works. So I hope you found this video a bit useful, a bit different than what you usually see. And if you're still here, leave a like on the video, subscribe to see more content like this. I'll see you in the next video. See you soon.